My name is Phil Bowman. I graduated uh, in mining in 1967. My name is Chuck Kirby. I graduated uh, in chemical or in petroleum refining engineering in 1967. My name is Bob Jensen, mining engineering in 1967 as well. The three of us were together here because we all three met the same day in 1963 and we've stayed in contact with each other up to this day and uh, we're 50 year graduates of Colorado School of Mines. We were in the same fraternity together and uh, we just remained in close contact so we thought we'd do this interview together. Um, so what is a favorite memory that you guys um, share? Well you guys spent your time on the football field, I spent mine at the bowling alley. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not we had a school bowling team, I don't know if we still do. I think we do actually. But that was the early years uh, of forming that program. Uh, the thing I remember, I think, was meeting these two fellows. We were in the same fraternity, and the, uh, the various parties, functions, things we got together. Uh, Phil, I remember the time we went up on the mountain. I don't think we were a third of the way up, and we thought we were halfway to the moon. Absolutely. And uh, Phil, you, were, you liked it because I remember you said, I don't have to drink as much beer to get hammered. <laughs> That was your, your story, so that's where you went to drink beer. I knew you were going to tell that again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's certainly, uh, that's certainly true, the, the friendships of Phil and, and Bob and uh, others. I mean, those were fantastic. Phil and I have uh, met, I think, the first day we arrived, and we've been friends ever since. Yeah. How do you think Mines has changed since, well, since your time here? You want to start? <laughs> well, Mines is changed tremendously and I try to visit at least every other year so I've watched these changes and uh, and told people about it and the schools tripled in size since I graduated and they offer uh, different degrees but I go to the uh, alumni banquets and hear the students some of them get a chance to speak and just hear how much different they are than uh, we were and how much different their education is what a future uh, they can bring about and um, so it's just always been exciting to me to uh, stay in touch with mines. I'm not sure we could have ever uh, measured up to what these kids have on the ball today. They are sharp and uh, it kind of put me back in the rear view mirror quite honestly. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I went when I went. Um, what makes mines different from other universities? Uh, there were no none of these mass lectures where half of you could duck out the back door when the teacher wasn't looking. Although I think we had one math course like that, but you know, but, but honestly the, these guys were gems and they, they wanted to make sure we were prepared. Uh, we had a professor, George Bator, that taught mining and I remember his, his adage to this day it was, don't go across the street unless you can make a buck doing it. And that philosophy has always stuck with me. Don't waste your time on trivia. If there's an economic benefit, let's do it. If not, go on to something else. Well, I agree with all that. And um, I would just say that finish your degree because it will open doors. Yeah. At your age, you probably really don't know what you want to do. If you do, great. I didn't, but it opens doors and you can do really anything you want to do at, at mines because industry's problems are not near as difficult as some of these textbook problems. So finish your degree and you'll have a great life.